I always believed that if a serial killer tried to kidnap me, he would be annoyed and throw me right away because I talk too much. So if the killer is upon you, he's about to kill you, first thing I'm gonna let the killer know is, oh, listen, man, I'm gonna follow you on Instagram. Are you hungry? You can't kill me, I'm already dead inside. And then they would probably feel bad for me. They'd be like, oh God, I'm so sorry. You wanna get a sandwich? Then I'm gonna be like, yo, why don't we take a selfie together? Boom, I'm about to raise your profile. I got millions of followers, baby. I'm about to make you hot in these streets right now. It's gonna be a nightmare and funeral expenses for my parents. Don't do it. You have to do something super weird. You have to like blow their mind in some kind of way. I'm a singer, so I was like, maybe if I started singing, they'd be like, oh, I love your voice. Maybe I'd feature you in the song. I would probably want to figure out like, why would you want to kill me? You know, I could do a lot of good, and maybe I could even help you or even team up with you. Then I'm gonna be like, yo, if you thought that was enough, Snapchat. I would use my personality to either make him love me and, you know, become a court gesture and make him laugh, or I would just try to annoy him to the point where he just got it over with fast. If he determined on killing my ass, he gonna kill me. You know what I'm saying? So it's nothing you can say to kind of divvy that down. What I'm gonna say, I'm gonna buy you a Prius if you don't kill me. I buy you a Prius. <laughs> i do a little Marilyn Monroe and see if he was lonely. <laughs> Wait, is this like foreplay dying or is it just like regular dying? My best death face would be... I'm gonna give you my ideal death face and then I'm gonna give you, <laughs> you know how you get the meme where it's like what you want it to be and what it really is? Okay, so this is my ideal death face. If it was in a horror movie, it would look something like this, probably. <sighs> yeah, I wanna go out like Elvis, taking a dump. And so my death face would probably be pretty similar to my poop face, which is very much like this. <sighs> I almost pooped myself just now. Hi, Dad. I had a friend who told me that it's most memorable if your eyes are open when you die. So it would be something like, I don't know, I get stabbed. And I'd be like, I might be dead. My eyes open. Because <laughs> full play down, I'd be like, Girl, don't you, don't kill me. I'll kiss you and, hey, don't kill me. Stupid. You know what I mean? But if my mouth didn't get a chance to be open, then it'd be just like. And the blood would just be like. Ooh, glad I'm in the real world. Please don't trump my eyes. <laughs> Pretty bad. All right. My biggest real life fear, they get to have to be drowning. But that's not fun for nobody. You can be a world class swimmer. You don't like the feeling of drowning. That's why you know how to swim so good. Me, I'm not Michael Phelps. My biggest real life fear would probably be locked in a closet, dark closet, full of spiders. My biggest real life fear would be to not continue to evolve. Like the idea that I never grow, you know, and become who I know that I can be would be just <laughs> Horrific. I think I'm a bit of a nervous Nelly when it comes to a lot of things. My biggest fear has to be driving. I do not care for it. I am scared that I will crash. <laughs> Probably one of my biggest fears is like the ocean. I don't know something about it. I just really don't like water like that. My biggest fear is definitely spiders. I'm gonna act like I'm not scared and then like quietly kill it. My car like crashes into water and I can't bust open the window. <gasps> that it's scary! Huh. I just got shook thinking about it. The best place to hide in a hostile situation when it comes to ghosts and paranormal activities is my crib, because we don't allow that. The absolute best place to hide is in, the, is in the woman's bathroom. We don't know what happens in the woman's bathroom. We just know women go in there for like 15 minutes at a time, and they talk about stuff. The ghost will end up on Shade Room if he goes in there. He's trying to stay off of the blogs. There's no way the ghost is gonna go into the woman's bathroom. Under the bed. Because you know what, Everyone's, every, nobody's gonna look there because they think it's too obvious. See, this is why I would die in a horror movie, because I would go under a bed. I would say like, if it was like a house, I would hide like, Maybe like on the roof. I feel like anywhere more public 
is a good place to hide. In a closet, but really high up so that people can't reach up there. I've actually used this in hide and seek and I was not found for hours and it was very depressing. It's all fourth grade because of that. <laughs> Hey y'all, it's your boy Caesar, Black Ink CEO. And if you don't know me, the reason why is you ain't subscribed to the VH1 YouTube channel. At the end of the day, you already know. That's the number one channel on YouTube. And if you don't got it, I guess you just watch the number two.